I love my smart home. I have the Google Home uh, throughout the Google Smart Home throughout my entire home now. Uh, and one of the things that I got most annoyed with in the last year is the fact that my Google Wi-Fi puck is what I call it because it's the size of a hockey puck but taller. Um, and then my bar of soap Google Mini is also something that I have to put in two separate places in my house. Now they fixed that issue. So they, uh, after years of having their Google Wi-Fi router on the market, they actually have new and improved router. Uh, the Nest Wi-Fi, it's a base router with companion extender uh, called points kind of thing like they had with their original stuff um, and then each point comes with a speaker and microphones in it so essentially they uh, start to do the same task as two devices but they put into one so it's a Google Home speaker and a, Ni a Nest Wi-Fi or a, a, a Wi-Fi with multiple points which is very nice uh, also known as like a faux mesh Wi-Fi um, this is something I absolutely want to get my hands on. Uh, Dad, how about you? What do you think about these so far? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, the jury's still out for me on these. I do have the Google Mesh here. Uh, I have three access points throughout my house. Uh, one big difference that it looks like to me, and I haven't haven't seen specifically, but it looks like in the three pack here they have the router and two points. So it looks like they're separating the points yeah. from the router. I know on the old versions, you could use any one of the three as the router uh, or use all three independently and have three separate Wi-Fi signals going on. So you could do uh, all kinds of different things. With this, it seems uh, like they've taken out some of the unnecessary stuff in, uh, in the points, left the routing to the router and simply made it uh, an expansion. I don't know if it's a true mesh or not. They're, all of their ads and uh, uh, talking points didn't really mention if it was uh, going to be more of a mesh system or just an extender. So we'll have to see you yeah. know, when it comes out what the reviews are. And, but I'm uh, glad they put the uh, Google Assistant into it. Oh, yeah. I, I think that's awesome. I actually – two things. Uh, there's a comment and then I have a picture. The picture I have up on the screen is <laughs> – it's a 9 to 5 Google. says, Nest Wi-Fi leaks, two-part system, cute design, and more. But it's actually a picture of the Google Home Wi-Fi puck with the uh, Google Home mini speaker sitting on top of it. I think that's hilarious. Um, <laughs> and um, Dark Ash says, Google turned into Facebook. They steal your data. Um, I – yeah, that's been there for a while. But uh, we just kind of ignore it and move on with our lives. I'm pretty sure that's how that goes, right? No? No, just me? Okay. If you got nothing to hide, you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> um <laughs> So, yes, yeah, something very exciting, and they are talking about the speeds. Did they say it? Did you, do you know if this is a tri-band or dual-band? Uh, my understanding is that it is dual-band, but it supports all the protocols, right? So it'll go all the way up to AC, just okay. like the current versions do. Okay, just, just making sure. And then, Dave, any, any thoughts, opinions? Uh, no, I use a gaming router, <laughs> Asus, so I, I couldn't imagine having any need for any of this stuff. Not your cup of tea. Not a problem. Um, and actually, this just mentioned something uh, in this article going over the Nest Hub Max, which I also want one of those, a giant Google Home. Um, but anyway, move on. They also, in this event, they briefly touched on Google Stadia, which we did cover. I'll link in a uh, card above at when I actually post this video. So right now, you can't see it if you're watching it live, but if you're watching it after the fact, that's how you can tell if it's not live. Um, Google Stadia launches November 19th, and this is something very powerful that's going to be very fun, uh, but I'll skip right by it because we literally talked about that last week. Does anybody have a quick... I know, Dave, you didn't get to talk about it last week. Did you want to uh, have a quick quip on that? No, I mean, you guys covered it pretty good. I, I have the same concerns as you guys do, which is, is it going to work very well? How is it going to work? Uh, the pricing seems to be a little whack for what you're getting to, but um, if it works the way they say it will, then I, I can't imagine it not being an awesome product, especially you know for somebody who doesn't always have the latest consoles and things like that. I could definitely see myself yeah. um, being interested in it, using it on multiple devices, multiple locations. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then the final thing that I wanted to touch on, I think this is one of the most powerful things that will affect you and everybody as a Google or Nest user. They actually have the Whole Home Nest Aware subscriptions. 
Now, why is that important? Well, more, peop more and more people nowadays have Nest devices in their homes. Now the all the Google Home devices are Nest devices. Your phone can be a Nest device. You have everything that can be a Nest device nowadays, and but they're all tying them all, starting to make them more streamlined. Um, it's Nest aware subscription plans. Rather than having the users add subscriptions for each device, Nest will introduce a whole home subscription. So it's one flat fee rather than like, oh yeah, we got... Uh, $9.99 for this, $10 for this, the blah, blah, blah. And it's all going to be converged into one app as well. So uh, at least as much as they can as they're working on it. I think that's 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 brilliant because a lot of people come in uh, to me at my current job and will say, hey, why do I have to have an app for this and for this? And why am I paying for this and this at the same time when they're literally the same base company that makes both? They get very confused. They don't know which one to pick up sometimes. And it frustrates people until they get used to it. So I think that would be something very nice overall um, that would be very helpful. Any any thoughts? You know, they're going to have the two plans. I think it's mentioned right there, 6 bucks, 12 bucks per month. The biggest difference between the two is going to be the amount of storage uh, for back-end videos. I got to tell you, the coolest upgrade that I've seen so far uh, to any of these um, Nest Aware products or anything like them is that this new uh, Nest Aware pro, uh, programs and whatnot will have critical sound recognition features. Yeah. So that is to say that your Google Nest Home devices that are connected to your Nest Aware system will be able to tell things like barking dogs and smoke alarms. And so if a smoke alarm, a standard home smoke alarm goes off the the nest aware system will be able to tell that's a smoke alarm i need to send an alert to my owners so that they know that there's a smoke alarm going off basically it takes your dumb everyday smoke alarm and turns it into a smart smoke alarm yeah that's pretty cool i like that feature and i can't wait to see what else comes with that yeah absolutely I think you and uh, just about everybody else. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, and what do they do with barking dogs? Turn on all the cameras? I'm not sure, right? So I, I, I'm just very curious where, where they're going with it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, and uh, Dave, any final thoughts on the Google event? What's your oh, – let's let's give overall opinions, actually. We'll go down the line. We'll start from the back and go forward. Um, so like a 1 out of 10, you know, like does this make you excited? What, you know, and then like is like – Number 10, super excited, and number one is like, yeah, I could really care less. Yeah, it's interesting because as a tech guy, it's it's all very much uh, stuff that I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder where that's going to lead. Like he was talking about the, uh, the the critical sound thing. I remember when he was talking about that, I was like, oh, that's that's really interesting. So now they can listen in on, on your smoke alarms and this, that, and the other. You could really have a full awareness of your house. So from just a, a tech guy perspective, I'm pretty excited to see what's going on, what's happening, what the next uh, level is. For what I actually do, though, and how I actually use stuff, like I said, I, I use a gaming router. I don't have any sort of Nest equipment. I don't have uh, – I barely even talk to my phone as it is just because it's, you know, one of those things where I use it when I need to but not really all the time. So um, – from an interesting standpoint, I'd say a 10. From a everyday usage standpoint, probably a 1 for me. Okay. Fair enough. And uh, so we got a, a, a 10 and a, and a 1, kind of all in the <laughs> same kind of there. But, um, Dad, how about you? What do you rate? Uh, you know, I think the event was really cool. So, you know, Google's always coming up with new stuff. I love that about Google. That's what I've liked about Google for a long time. They're very innovative. Uh, they're starting to connect all their things really, really well and seamlessly together, which is very cool. Um, they don't cover the full gambit of, you know, like when they say Nest Aware, um, you know, I don't have all of the features that I would like to see in a, you know, home security system, but yeah. it has some features that most don't do. So there's all kinds of things. Um, from this event, I got to tell you, the Pixel Buds, probably the most exciting to me. I do like a good set of headphones. Uh, the Pixelbook Go is interesting, um, but uh, probably not worth upgrading from my Asus. Yeah. Uh, the next gen Google Minis, I've got a couple of them lying around. I probably will get a couple of new ones. Uh, so that's good. The Nest Wi Fi, I've got Google Wi Fi. 
I don't have any reason to upgrade those yet, but uh, uh, you know, this is nice to see when I do have to upgrade that's there. And the Pixel 4, I'm a Samsung guy. The camera is the most important feature for me. I don't feel the Pixel 4's camera is quite as good as the, the uh, S10 5G's camera in Samsung land. Yeah. So probably not going to upgrade that. I'm with Dave. I'm a 10 on the interest, probably a little higher on the, uh, on the practicality of it. I'm probably more like a 5. Fair enough. Um, and before I go real quick, uh, one of our YouTube members, um, actually, what, our members to our channel, actually gives it, Dark Ash gives it an 8 out of 10. Um, and if you wanted to elaborate a little bit on that Dark Ash, I'll be more than happy to read that for you. For me, I think it's a, a solid 9 out of 10 as far as excitement goes. I mean, if you take away the fact that, I mean, it, I think it was... Um, Oh, Painfully Honest Tech says that everything in the actual announcement looked like it was bought from Ikea. Like, it looked like they were doing the event at Ikea. Uh, if you take that kind of the boringness away out of what they do as far as an event goes, I think it's a great, great event. I think 8 out of 10 for excitement, 8 to 9, maybe 8 and a half ish Um... And that's going to be my, my solid stick with that. I think practicality, there are things that I want from this event. I want the Google Home Mini. I would like a new one. I would like the Google Wi-Fi. The Pixel is something I try to figure out where I might be able to put that into my life because I think that would be fantastic. Uh, the Pixel Book Go, I can't see myself buying. I, I can't see a use case for that in my life. Um, but other than that, I think practicality, I would also maybe give it more like a 7 but, I mean, I, I I love it. I think they did a great job, and I'm very excited to see how some of this stuff plays out. Oh, earbuds. I've been needing a new pair of earbuds, and I was thinking about getting the Samsung ones, but this made me stop dead in my tracks because those look pretty awesome. Um, so those are our thoughts so far about the Google event that just happened. Um, this video will be posted, uh, I believe, tomorrow, actually. So we will post that tomorrow for you guys. Now we're going to move on to, uh, we have time for one more subject, uh, or a quick one, and then we have some community stuff. And I don't know that there's a whole lot of our community on right now, so we might not have too much community interaction. Dark Ash, let me know. I know you're out there, so let me know what you want to talk about after this. But we're going to move on real quick. Now this is the Oculus Quest. Now this is something that, uh, Dad, you've been doing a lot of research, and I pulled up an R oh, I pulled up a Google search here. Um, and I can kind of go through some stuff, but, and, uh, if you want to let me know, I'll let you take this one away.